it's Saturday morning. Combine was tucked up in the shed, but we're going to go and cut that mustard we never cut yesterday. Anyway, I just want to show you this on the combine header. Just flick it round so you can see. Remember the facelia we cut? Look, it's growing. It's like a, like a mat. It's like cress. You've even got a little grass seed as well underneath there growing. We left the header outside, you see. Through the day. Look, that big lump of soil on it. Yeah, we left the header outside, it's got wet and the facility started to grow in itself. So we're going to go, like I say, cut that mustard. It's a lovely day, sun is shining. Uh, this is what happened last night anyway, after you had uploaded. It's last night. John has only just finished cleaning the solar panels because he's done all of them and it's uh, 10 o'clock and he's still packing up. So um, I've just got the UTV lights on the meadow load so that he's got some light to see what he's doing. It's now launching. Da, 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 so it's now launched itself off the floor. Pack the trailer underneath, lower it on, no ramps, jobs are good. So you just back the trailer underneath now. And then it'll lower down. John's just gonna lower it down now. Or like land it on the trailer. The legs will flick up and fold in. How cool is that? Cherry picker's all loaded up now, it's quarter to 11. But this man, John Carr cleaning, big massive plug for him. Find him on Twitter's the easiest, is it? Uh, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll soon be on TikTok after all Yeah, I've told him he needs to be on TikTok, so uh, <laughs> amazing job. And hopefully tomorrow it's going to be a sunny day and they'll start working for us. But yeah, find him anyway. John Carr cleaning. He doesn't just do solar panels, he cleans churches inside as well. I clean anything. If it's dirty, energy. I'll clean it. He's going to clean the combine <laughs> tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> So hopefully them panels are doing an amazing job now because it's obviously sunny and they're nice and clean. Rob says don't film him taking a header out of the shed. I don't know why, it'll fit out easy. He turns now, the back axle will kick round. Easily miss that pillar then, hopefully. But yeah, go on, fine. Easy peasy. Put the battery isolator back on. Turn it off because I thought it'd be parked up for a good few months. <laughs> Let's roll. Little we'll combine. We need to clean that header. It's still got Olivia Hesketh's uh, TikTok name on it. A little bit weedy, but we'll see how it goes. See how we can set the combine up to blow the weeds out the back. But not the mustard. It's quite light. Don't have a mustard setting, but I'll set it for rapeseed. See if that works. Or OSR, how we now should call it. Just had a slight technical hitch with the combine. We finished cutting what I was cutting. And I was just blowing off the bit that was weedy with the sieve shut and the fan on. Save coming back up with the flail mower. And it was a manhole. And I thought I'd just missed it. Anyway, I've caught it by an inch in depth and in width hit the end of the header while I was going pretty quick and um, I basically just completely bent the header so I'll just rock it over and show you what I've done but it's a bit of a bit of a mess so that should be straight and then if we get down here just past there here isn't it yeah Basically, caught it by that inch there, and I bent that tube back. It's obviously got a brace here. This is actually a hydraulic tank, and it's just buckled at this point here. That tube, which um, doesn't look an easy job to replace. If it was mid-season, we'd put a chain around that end of the digger and push it back to shape. And 
carry on, but um, it's, a, it's a winter job, I think. You can't really see on the camera. I'll, I think I'll have to lift it. You'll probably see it bend there. Yeah, so we just caught it there by that much. They don't, they don't make concrete like they used to, do they? If you look down the line there, you can see at the end it running off. Just lifted the reel up now, so you can see it's perfectly straight in this section here. And then it now bends off back this way. Uh, not ideal. It don't worry about the flex that way, That's it's designed to do that, but if we look down the knife, you can see that end section there, it just, it's basically straight till about here, and then that just goes, whoop. I think if, if it was the middle of harvest and it was 15% moisture, I think we'd be sliding the tube into here, shoving it with the digger and the telly on that trying to get it something like straight carrying on and then sawing it out on a wet day or into the winter anyway we'll try getting a mustard out of the tank see if the head will fit on the trailer get it out slight issue here so that is sat on the carrier there just two inches forwards and that one is five inches back hmm We've got it on the trailer. You can see the ripple there, maybe. Big problem is though, that sat in the carrier there and the pin is miles off going in that hole. And same with this one, the pin won't go in the hole. So we're gonna have to ratchet strap it onto its holder to get it back to the yard. Yeah, so I thought we'd buckled this section, but we've actually twisted this a bit because you can see that these plates should be straight and they've buckled in. Um, which is a bit of a shame. With a hammer, we've managed to get that pin in. So now we're going to ratchet strap this back bit down. Just round that to the axle. There we go. It's going nowhere now. Do you ever wish if you'd have stayed in bed you'd have been better off, especially on a Saturday? Today is one of them days because the stuff that we've harvested, get some, some of it here now, is mostly weed seeds. It wasn't really worth cutting once we got there after the first half acre, but we were just, it was just a mowing exercise so that it was ready for drilling the wheat. And the damage the combat, we just never bothered. We flailed it off last week, I'm just not even bothered. But hindsight's a wonderful thing. Quickly do the birthday bumper. We've got Molly Glover and Jack Glover, seventh, both seven. I think the twins. Ben is 26. Andy Graham as well. Not many today, but still £10,640. Happy birthday, everyone on there, and anyone else that might be on there. I've done it early today, so if I miss you, sorry, you'll be on tomorrow. Just been doing a little bit of maths. Uh, the combine header is 492 inches wide, and I caught that manhole by an inch. The knife missed it. We'd gone over the top of it, but then the combine just rocked over and come down, and the back sort of beam just caught it enough because we were going quite quick because I was just mowing the top off that's obviously what did the damage but I think if you work it out on a percentage an inch over 492 inches it's sort of like 99.7 percent accurate or as Stephen said to me or 100 percent inaccurate because I hit it anyway it's just one of them things that's farming it happens in every industry I'm sure as well um I'm knocking off the day now Rob's going to go and level some ruts off Andrew's having the day off and we're going to go drilling again tomorrow so thanks for watching and um See you tomorrow. If you made it this far, don't forget click like. It really helps the channel and um, might cheer me up after a rubbish day. Because um, not only did I do that, I had to pay a load of rent as well today. <laughs> so it's a bad day. Because what we've harvested is rubbish as well. But there we go. Should have just flailed it off. Should have just done it last week. Never mind. See you tomorrow.